1988, when I was 17 years old, I rented a video camera and went on a trek into the woods with two of my best friends to climb a local landmark called Tamanawas Rock, also known as Chimicum Rock, or more commonly, just Big Rock to the locals. In the original video, we drive around in my friend's 1962 Chevy Impala while rocking out to some 80s thrash metal. Then we hike up through the woods to Big Rock and climb to the top where we take in the views while my two friends smoke a bunch of weed and I dangle around in some trees. The video perfectly captured a random afternoon in our 1980s teenage lives. That video was filmed exactly 32 years ago and today you and I are gonna take a road trip back to my hometown to revisit Big Rock for a then and now look at the area. Let's hit it. Get out of the way, you f***s. Just kidding. There was nobody there. I just like to do that sometimes. Okay, we are here. Let's get out and have a look around. So I'm back at Big Rock and stuff has totally changed here, but I'm gonna hike up and find some of the spots where we used to go back in the original 1988 video. When I shot the original 1988 video, I was with my friends Han and Scott. I also shot some footage at Big Rock a year later in 1989 with my friend Derek. Big Rock was always a beautiful place, but as a kid it also felt kinda spooky. The woods surrounding the rock were always sort of dark and a little ominous, giving off some seriously creepy Bigfoot vibes. Plus, with all of the trashy 1980s horror movies we constantly watched when we were kids, we always half expected to run into a weird hillbilly serial killer out on a lonely trail. Now, over 30 years later, the trails are smaller and the forest is thicker, intensifying the all-around horror movie vibe. Okay, so, heading up to Big Rock to show some of the spots where we were went back in 1988 and uh what the hell wait a minute hello hello what the fuck there's somebody there's somebody fucking out hello all right i don't All right, it's not funny. I don't know what is going on, but there is like somebody out here and they're like totally fucking with me. So I don't know if this is a good idea. Like maybe I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna bail dudes. Cause it's like, what the Holy shit, it's Han, it's just Han. Man, what are you doing out here? They said there was a man in a mask. I was out here looking for him, I don't... Oh know. my God, it's Han from the original 1988 video. Han was in the original 1988 video and is featured in a lot of my home movies. We've been good friends since we started hanging out together in the eighth grade. Since we're both here, let's just go to Big Rock together. Let's do it. It is this way, right? Like, yeah. But it's so overgrown. It's I'm not even. It changed a lot. It definitely changed a lot. Are we even going the right I way? Because there's a lot of you know, if. Hey, whoa. Hey, here's a hiker. Let's hiker ask right this guy. Now. Hey, did you? Is this is this the way to go to Big Rock? You head up the, here. Yeah. You see your mom's. 
Um, you take this lower route, um, you'll get to your mom's What? What? Have fun, boys. Oh. Holy shit, it's Derek! Derek and I have been friends since we met in the seventh grade. If you've watched my videos, you probably remember him from the Jackpot Food Mart video and my eviction and first car story time videos. How random is this that you are Dude. out here and you live like 1,300 miles away I'm from here? I'm Jordan and the kids, man. I thought, shit, I'm gonna come up to Big Rock today. <laughs> How weird that it's the same day that I came up here and I just ran into Han. That's weird, I didn't even recognize you. You look so different. <laughs> There's a yeah. coincidence. There's, <laughs> fuck. fuck. When's the last time you ever saw Han even? 28 I mean, years. Uh, Han, Derek, and I haven't hung out together since 1992 when our band Skeleton Crew broke up. Shit, well we should all go up to, we should all go up to Big Rock together right now then. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, this is awesome. I'll show you guys how to get there. Great. Thanks, man. Fuck. Awesome, buddy. It's just, it's like we're back. All we're right. back. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. Here's the tree where Scott did his pull-ups in the 1988 video. That's it. On that limb right there, dude. In case you were wondering, I am still friends with Scott and we see each other somewhat regularly. He would have joined us for this video, but he had something important going on and couldn't make it. Crazy. And usually, like back then, you could like see the rock oh, from here. This like right. Just, this was all just little trees. The area itself has changed a lot since we were kids. In the 1980s and 1990s, you could see the rock towering over Chimicum Valley in all directions. Big rock is approximately right there. Right there it is. Today, tall trees hide it from view at ground level, which is so much nicer than the ugly clear cut that surrounded it in past decades. Speaking of ugly, sometime around 1987, some dipshit rappelled down and painted a giant idiotic heart on the face of the rock, which has always been so annoying to look at. Unfortunately, it can still be seen today. You mean we could have driven this, here? Like road down where you can actually drive up here and park? Yeah, what the fuck, Lynn? <laughs> we just had to walk 85 feet. <laughs> easy, for, easy for a fucking skinny dude. <laughs> what the fuck, Lynn? <laughs> okay, guys. Lynn like, <laughs> <Lid, laughs> rides his bike like seven miles <laughs> to get to work. <laughs> you fucking, fucking walk 85 feet. Yeah. Goddamn, bro. <laughs> we could have driven to right funny. here in the That's AC. Funny, here's shit. In the summer of 1989, there was a dirt road cut in that allowed you to drive almost all the way up to the rock. Derek and I would drive up there often that summer in our crazy art car, bring some girls, hang out, hike around through the woods, climb the rocks and just explore the area. Um, yeah, just uh, explore different stuff. And. Um, Anyway, if you want to learn more about our crazy art car, watch this video. Remember when we used to camp up here? Oh yeah. In the mid-1980s, my friends and I would go to Big Rock often to explore the surrounding woods, ride bikes through the trails, climb around on the rocks, or camp out for a night or two. Unfortunately, our campout sessions would usually end with everybody exhausted and totally pissed off at each other. There are some strong horror movie vibes out here. 
They came to the mountain for adventure and escape. How could they know that beneath the awesome beauty of nature lay violence, danger, and death? Rated R. Okay, we've arrived at the backside of Chimicum Rock. This is where we'll be climbing up. The rock itself is about 150 feet high, and to get to the top, you have to hike around to the backside where the climbing distance is much shorter. Here the climb is doable without any specialized gear or experience. Also, many years ago, someone permanently attached a cable at this access point to make the climb much easier. For our trip today, we went the long way up onto the cliffs behind Big Rock to check out the views, then came down through some steep trails to the backside of the rock. when you're drinking the claw. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this is the first place you ever got stoned. First place, right, right at the top of there. And then I got so stoned I couldn't even get down to fucking rock. <laughs> <laughs> Sixth grade, what's that tell you? What do you got in your hand there? Mind if I zoom in? Oh. Here's the infamous tree that we used to climb out on and dangle over the edge. No, like literally like upside down, get, let get off there. used to work all hand. the way to the end oh, fuck and yeah. literally... Hit. I actually can't believe this thing is still standing. I also can't believe that nobody ever died. 150 feet, 200 feet. Warning. If you should ever happen to travel to Chimicum Rock yourself, do not attempt what you are about to see, either there or at any similar location. The following video clips and images were recorded from 29 to 32 years ago and are meant solely as a documentation of our youthful stupidity, not as a challenge. This tree is very old now and cannot support weight. A terrible and painful end awaits anyone foolish enough to attempt to copy the following extremely idiotic acts. Whenever we were up on the rock, there was one thing in particular that was always the focus of our attention. A tiny madrona tree growing right on the edge of a sheer 150 foot drop off. It had a single limb growing straight out over the ledge that we would crawl out on to perform daredevil acts of utter stupidity. At the bottom of the drop was a tangled mess of jagged rocks and logs. Remember, you used to stand there, pretend like you were gonna fall, and then swing backwards upside down with your arms straight to the ground. Totally. And chicks would be like, oh. Remember that? Or just stand there and take photos. Oh God, the car's right behind you. Oh, 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 wait, I have to grab. Don't do that. I'm not gonna do it from here. Right here. Fuck off. Film with this, you'll like it. <laughs> Not being held up. Oh! Damn it. I want a shot that looks something like. Something special. This is the spot that we would climb out on this tree. And you can't really see it Here, quite as well because this shit's all, now. shit's all is in the way. See that though? But check that out. Yeah. Oh, that limb's not even there no more, dude. Dude, oh yeah, look at that. So like... Unless it's that limb that grew right? out. So it's like right about... You know, back back then though, if you fell, it was all rocks and stumps. Oh, you're you're done. Yeah, you're yeah done. Just, even if you fell right here, you're done. You're At least done. you'd hit trees first, like Rambo you're style. Done. Dude, it's just you're so done. stupid. 
<laughs> but check this out, all right? I got another one. That's me? That's you. I did that? that is, that's fucking Derek. Derek's like, I'm scared just looking at it. Jesus Christ. Oh my gosh. Bro. Yeah, that's so this photo that's was taken from like I, 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 I probably can't don't show me that yeah, picture. I'm not really afraid of heights though. But that's absolutely insane. Yeah, so you can't really totally see where the you picture was, but me out there to do like that. right about there. <laughs> you guys were doing that when me and Scott were sitting at the top up there yeah, Like seriously, <laughs> dudes. Yeah. It's yeah. fucked up. I mean, Lynn thought we were, that we, you guys were endangering yourself smoking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> totally. Those dumbass were killing their lungs up there smoking weed. We're hanging yeah. off the end of this. Totally. We're literally a second away from dying. <laughs> Derek took this photo of me in 1989, the first time that I ever brought him up to Big Rock. Later, we had this image made into a poster and hung it in our house. It's amazing the absolutely idiotic things you'll do as a teenager believing nothing bad could ever happen. Thankfully for us, nothing did. Our friend Jason was the only other person that I ever knew of who would hang around out on that limb besides myself and Derek, but I'm sure there were others. You dumbasses. Damn, dude. What dude. was I wearing in that picture, too? Was I wearing, like, girls' like pajama bottoms? <laughs> What the hell is that? Oh, they're, like, they're like peach. What was? That? Oh, maybe they not. Were, they were, like, they were they, they was, okay. just shorts, oh, but it yeah. looks like you have a like a half shirt. But you got red not. high tops. You got just, red high tops, huh? I think those were pink, actually. <laughs> <laughs> but the uh, maybe it was just on my ass or something. Okay. <laughs> I, I didn't hilarious. want to try to adjust at that point. Uh, yeah, totally. That's just crazy, dude, dude. Like it's fucked up. <laughs> it's fucked up, dude. Major. How about that's, like? Oh my gosh. Gnarly. Wow. Oh, well, yeah. Dude. That yeah. was like right. <laughs> right, <laughs> right there. Sitting like yeah. right about there. Now it's all grown up. Crazy. Look, I wonder why dudes thought that we were gay. <laughs> <laughs> We leave. We leave them on, on, on a motorcycle together. And then we leave on a motorcycle. Yeah, yeah. And Liz like, Liz like two feet taller than me oh. on the back of my motorcycle, which propped him up about eight to ten Jesus. inches. Jesus, why would he say? Like, Lynn oh, Lin has a boyfriend from San Diego. <laughs> Dude, this was taken right down there. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> like, why would they think we were gay? <laughs> yeah, that's a couple. Look at those. Oh my god. Holy why would they think we that's were gay? Fantastic. That's you. Yeah, you yeah. took that shot. Off like, that's the, what was below uh, it back then. Look at that, dude. Yeah. That's 150 that's like, feet down. That was taken right standing right here. You yeah. can't really that's hardly see, nuts. but. <laughs> Are you sure you guys weren't the two from Air Supply? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like, I'm trying to, like, like I'm, I'm getting ready to audition for the Backstreet Boys. Like, <laughs> yeah. Is that Justin Timberlake from early NSYNC? <laughs> dudes. Can you even believe, like, I'm tripping out that I'm up here with these dudes. I would never think I would ever be up here again with these cats. I mean, look at them. The last time I was up here was 2009. This tree right here is the one that I would go up in and hang upside down like a total idiot. Just a fool. <laughs> Port Townsend is right there. There's Port Townsend. Hey Han, before we go, let's recreate the scene from the 1988 video where you and Scott are up here smoking weed. Derek can play Scott. This is Lynn putting us all in danger again. Scott was right here. Yeah, pretty much about like that, totally. Here's the exact spot where in 1988, Han and Scott sat smoking. We got Derek right now playing the part of Scott. Hey, look at, 
and It's <laughs> so fucking funny. Well, I guess we should probably head back now. Let's do it. I never thought for a second that I'd ever be up on Big Rock with either of these two dudes again in my lifetime. This trip came together at the very last minute and just happened to work out, so I want to say thanks to Han and Derek for their time and travel. I wasn't sure what this hang session was going to be like since the three of us haven't been together in 28 years, but it ended up being an absolutely perfect day. <laughs> <laughs>